Hello and welcome to the commentary box and today is going to be the first official episode of them all and this one I thought would be a good idea to start off with doing some predictions so I'm going to be going through the whole league hopefully not too long um, but definitely enough to keep you going to get an idea of uh, if I actually know I want them out uh, to start with um, but hopefully to just sort of get a rough idea of where I think uh, the teams are going to finish. Obviously, this means I can then do a review at the end of the season to see how close I was, sort of give myself maybe like points, things like that, just to see if I actually had any idea or if it was purely down to luck. I'm going to give my reasons why. Um, so, yeah, look straight into it. So, first place, I've gone with Barnsley. Uh, this is one of the three teams that have obviously come down from the Championship. Uh, last season, I did I did watch them once. I did see them play Aston Villa at Villa Park. Uh, and I think they won 3-1, fairly convincingly. Uh, did play well. Not too many big names in their team, to be honest. Uh, I can't quite remember if they do still have Armstrong, who was a... Uh, a good striker, quite small, but quite clinical as well. Um, I'm not too up to date on, obviously, their squad. But, as far as I know, they're a good team. They've come down, they're going to want to go back up. They've been in this league before, and they've done well in it. I remember when they were bottom of the league for so long, and then they got into the playoffs in like, the couple of final days of the season, and then won the playoffs, and they went up. But I think they've got quality, and I just feel they've sort of got that sort of, like, togetherness and hard-working um, team that it will be enough to sort of see them through the season. It's a little bit optimistic, I will admit. Uh, obviously, they've gone down, so they're not going to be the, the happiest bunch of people. But no, I've, I've gone with them. Stick. <coughs> Sorry. Going to stick with them in second place. I've gone with Sunderland. So this is a team that we all know about. You know, in, in the Premier League, didn't have a very good season at all. They went down to League One. Uh, championship, sorry, didn't have a very good season there. Now they've gone down to League One as well, but I think they're going to go back up. I think they're too good for this league. I think they've got some quality players. I think they've got a really strong um, sort of backing uh, financially as well. They've got some okay young players. They've just got to get their act together. But I think they're going to. You're going to start to see changes. I think Chris Coleman is going to start to actually. Um, not missing realizing the importance because obviously he knew that when he's in the championship but he's going to go you know what we need to change we need to change something and i think i think he's going to go big and bold with some changes possibly some signings that may not be as um as orthodox as they would be but i think they're going to come second now for the four uh playoff places I've gone with Portsmouth, Scunthorpe, Plymouth and Bradford. Uh, Portsmouth obviously a big team, big backing, um, got some good players. It was a little bit uh, unfortunate last season not to get into the playoffs, but I think they're going to start the season a lot stronger and that's going to make them get there. Gone with them in third, Scunthorpe in fourth. Uh, I think it might be exactly the same place they came last year. I think they're just going to do the same again. They're not signed too many players, but they've done enough to sort of keep that stability in the team. And they're a good side, and it's the last couple of years they've really come along, and you're starting to see these young, skillful players sort of turn out. So I think they're going to have another good season. I've gone with Plymouth in fifth. Could be slightly optimistic, obviously. Not last year, but the season before they came up from League 2 to League 1. Uh, they had an OK, not great start, sorry, as a season, like I was with Gillingham. Uh, in the relegation zone and then they started to sort of step up their game and then they started to improve and get a lot better and then they finished just outside the playoffs but no I think they get it in time and then Bradford in sixth place signed a couple of players signed Josh Wright a Gillingham player named him his captain as well possibly personally I think that's a bit bold because when he was the captain for Gillingham he wasn't quite the captain we needed at the time but he was someone who was going to command and shout and direct orders he more of a um, played by example David Beckham type of captain but I don't think they're as successful as the other ones because I think you don't have to be a captain to do that but nevertheless it's their choice um, I do think they're going to come sixth and do well but that means obviously Scunthorpe will play Plymouth in the playoff final uh, sorry um, one of the playoffs and I think Scunthorpe will edge that one just over the two legs uh, Portsmouth and Bradford will also be playing each other and I think Bradford will edge that one because I think Bradford have been waiting a long time in this league and I don't think they're going to mess it up again uh, and then it will also be a Bradford 
Scunthorpe final and I think Bradford will win this and they will go back up alongside Sunderland and Barnsley to the championship. Now if I just sort of uh, quickly go through all of the other ones uh, down to the relegation zone, so I think Peterborough will come 7th. Having a half decent season, Charlton in 8th, you know, um, they've had a lot of problems with their uh, chairman, owner, things like that, but I think they're going to, they've had these problems last season but still managed to do well. I think the same will happen again, but I don't think they're going to make the playoffs as they did last season. Um, if we go down to, we look at the others in sort of 10th place, Shrewsbury, uh, Walsall always been a half decent team, always a lot of skill when they play team, just never really been that solid all round to sort of get that high up the table. So I think they've come 12th, pretty much mid table. Uh, and then I think Gillingham, so my team here, could be slightly biased. I know we didn't have a great season last year, but we did start to do well near the end. Um, a couple of new signings, some of them look half decent, let a couple of players go. We'll see where it takes us. I think we've got a good manager, and I think him being in from the beginning now is definitely going to help us finish in a lot better position than we did last year. Uh, then we've got Bristol Rovers in 14th. Uh, been in League 1 for a couple of years now since coming up from League 2. They've got an OK team. They're not amazing, uh, but they're not exactly awful. You know, they have got some good players and do get the odd half decent result against the big team. So I think they're going to finish 14th. Everyone would in the 15th. Never really had the strongest team in the world, but always had a lot of fight and passion and grit to their team. And they do really want to win. They play for each other. Uh, reminds me a little bit of um, South End in the way. But yeah, I think, I think they're going to play okay. Um, sorry, yeah, I don't think I mentioned that. I was talking of South End. South End ninth in table, I think um, I said. I'm not sure I've read that one actually because I've ticked all the ones I've read. Uh, yeah, I think they've got they've got a good team, but they've got they've got quality. Not only do they sort of fight and got a lot of passion and a decent manager, but they've got quality. You know, they've got a good team there. Um, then if we go down to 16th place, got Blackpool, a team who were, they're always a bit iffy, you know, they got, they used to, I remember when they're back in the Premier League and they used to have a really, really good team, but they just sort of dropped a little bit, not quite got to the standard they want to get, don't know too much on them to be honest, but the thing is if I don't know too much about these teams when I talk to you guys about it, I'm hoping to learn more as the season comes on and I'm going to take a lot more interest in the other teams. Obviously I do already, but when it comes to little facts like I know, maybe naming the manager or naming the stadium or some of their players, I can always do some, but I'd, I prefer to know as much as I can. So I'm going to really try and sort of up the quality of the podcast and actually really know and identify easily the players, um, fixtures, previous results, things like that. Um, then I'm going to go for Coventry in 17th place. Um... Again, another team who's obviously had a big background but never quite got back to where they should be, some would say. Still a big club, um, a little bit more investment has gone into the team. We'll see where it takes them this season. Accrington Stanley in 18th, obviously coming up from uh, League 2 alongside some of the other teams. Good team, not amazing. We'll see. Uh, a bit the same with Luton um, in 19th. And I've said Wickham in 20th, so three of the teams who've come up. Uh, in there, you know, it's it'd be interesting to obviously see where they where they finish in the league. Um, I don't think they got any of them got like amazing players. Obviously, Wickham have got Akin Fenwa, but I think none of them invested too greatly. But I think they're just going to survive. You know, I think that's obviously the important thing when you come up I and mean, just survive. And I think they're all going to do their job. Now, going to relegation zone, I picked no teams from League Two. I've gone with Fleetwood in 21st. I think they had an okay season last year, but it wasn't really great, to be honest. Uh, they haven't really got that many amazing players. They've got a very good goalkeeper, but I think uh, someone may go and poach him in the January transfer window. They've got Doncaster also, I've said, in 22nd place. A team who came up from League 2 a couple of years ago, but never really found uh, the, the perfect form that sort of they want there. Players like John Markey who are good, but can be inconsistent, you know. I think they're going to go down. Rochdale in 23rd, and last year they came in 20th, so they just uh, stayed up. I don't think they're going to have a good season. I know they have done well to stay up last season, but I don't think that's going to carry over, and we're going to see them go down. And bottom of the table, you may be surprised to hear this name, but Oxford. I've gone with Oxford in 24th. I just think they're a team who are okay, uh, but I don't think they've got any sort of quality outstanding players. They've just done all right, and, you know, 
most season they do do all right. But I just think this year when we got, I think this year he's definitely got um, more quality teams and quality players in this league, and I think. I think they're going to feel the bad end of that, to be honest. I think these players are going to sort of, um, they're going to struggle. I don't think their manager is too amazing. Um, I have had you been to Oxford to see Gillingham play them once, which we won or they were better than expected, but nevertheless, that was a couple of years ago. No, I don't think they're going to do too great, and I do think they are going to come last. So, that is me done with my main prediction, my main predictions. Uh, sorry, is there a sub-league? No, um... <laughs> Yeah, so I've done my predictions for uh, League One. This is my first of a League One podcast. If you do like it, please like. Uh, we're on Twitter, Instagram, iTunes, YouTube, uh, all under either at Bot Commentary or the Commentary Box. We also uh, do lots of polls and things like that on our Twitter, which we'd love you to get involved in. So that you do that, that'd be good. I'm hoping to make these podcasts around the length of 10 minutes. It's gone for about 11 and a bit which is okay, but I think it'd be a nice, uh, steady amount of time, just to see if we're getting half decent views, obviously it could be longer or shorter, dependent on what gets more views, so thank you very much, uh, this has been Jake from the Commentary Box, uh, we have three main running podcasts right now, we've got our usual football podcast, which will be me and Sam together, and Sam's got his own sub one of MLS, I've got my own sub one of League One, and we do have also have a combined match day one, where we talk about specific games we've been to, and how we enjoyed our time there. So thank you very much, and I will see you soon.